like to blue microphone. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, God, Doug must not know how hard it is to defend a trademark. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm Perry Waters. I'm CEO and co-founder at Bowie. Um, I think most of you know us. Uh, thank you so much for having us back, Doug. We really appreciate it. By the way, if any of you didn't get your blue marble, we have a bunch of them back at our table in the back. So please go get your blue marble. Um, so we're going to switch gears. Uh, at Bowie, as a lot of you know, we're focused on uh, household water use. So Jay has spent a lot of time protecting the ocean and understanding our our need to be close to large bodies of water. And we're concerned with the other water that's really uh, precious in your life, the water that you drink and that you bathe in and that you use every day to cook. Um, so most of you know who we are. For those who don't, we have a little, little video to tell you about what we do. But if you're like most people, you still don't know much about your home's most essential resource, water. But the problem is, good, clean water is expensive. Your water bill has risen 54% in five years and will keep going up. And it's even more expensive when something goes wrong. That's why we created Buoy. It's a smart water device that tells you all the places you use water, inside and outside the house. With Buoy, you'll know in real time where your water is going, every faucet, fixture, and appliance, and learn how to cut back if you need to. And because US homes lose over 10% of their water to everyday leaks, Bowie monitors your plumbing. It's constantly on the watch for leaks and emergencies. If it detects one, Bowie alerts you, so you can remotely shut off your water and call a plumber right from the Bowie app. The new Bowie smart water device. Get all the information you need to take control of your household's water use. Avoid surprise bills, and make sure you have enough water for all the things you love. So, um, so that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. And, and I'm here today to talk about why we do this. Um, so what we do is important, but the why is even more important. As, as Jay explained, water, water is connected to all of the things you love. If you think about your happy domestic moments at home, water is probably involved. It might be giving your baby a bath. It might be playing with your dog in the backyard, giving your dog a bath being in a hot tub with your spouse, um, all the cooking with your family and friends, all of those things require water. And when you think about it, you know, I also had my own story for water. Um, I, I was listening to Toby's story and I thought that was really interesting because my story of how I got here is that I rowed crew in college and I was rowing crew um, on the Charles River in Boston in April of 1996, April, and it was snowing. It was snowing on me in April for our first race of the year while I was rowing. And my mantra that day, I had this epiphany where I said, I'm moving to California. I'm moving to California. I'm moving to California. And that was it. So after graduation, I did. And, um, and all of my California memories, my best California memories, of course, involve water. Um, so it's really weird with this how essential water is to us that we are so disconnected from how much we need and how much we use every day. Um, I would bet that most of the people in this room could tell me how many steps you walk today by looking at some device that you're carrying or wearing right now. Um, some of us could tell us how many calories they ate today. And almost none of us could tell you, unless a few of you are beta, Bowie Beta customers, and those of you, I love you, thank you. Um, but other than those people, you probably couldn't tell us how much water you use today or um, how much water you're gonna need tomorrow. So we know this because we, polled about 200 people and asked them how much water do they think they use in a shower every day. And we got answers that ranged from 4.5 gallons to 400 gallons. And I really want to talk to the 400 gallon guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you think about that, that's, think of those five gallon containers that, that get delivered to offices. That's 80 of those. This is how much this guy thought he used to shower every day. Um, now, if you're a Bowie Beta customer, you know the right answer. If you're not, I'll just tell you, the average shower, the average 10 minute shower uses 21 gallons in a day. And um, that's a lot of water and it's really critical that we get on top of knowing how much water we use and we need every day um, because your water bill is rising, water prices are rising. We know that water is an issue. Um, you may not know why, that's a long story. I won't get into that today, but um, really it's a little bit, you might be thinking, okay, but we're not in a drought now. Does this matter anymore? Um, it does. Uh, the, the fact that your water bill is rising, the fact that you have rising concerns about water quality, 
have very little to do with seasonal droughts or the fact that we've been over pumping groundwater in the West for 100 years. Both of those are true, but those are dwarfed by the fact that we need a $1 trillion investment in water infrastructure in this country. Our infrastructure is really old, it's crumbling. Um, we've seen a lot of that this year. Uh, so your water bill is rising rapidly, and so you're gonna have to pay, pay more attention how much water you use. Um, Michigan State University published a study this year that showed that if water price trends continue the way they're expected to, within five years, 40% of US homeowners will find it difficult to afford their water bill. Five years, unbelievable. So, but believe it or not, it's not all gloom and doom. Because water, people, people tend to think, they tend to equate water use in the home to energy use, to home energy use. And I think that's kind of a poor analog because water is very different from energy in one key way. Water is the only 100% renewable resource. It is totally renewable. All water goes through the water cycle. Everybody probably remembers from Earth Sciences class a picture like this of the water cycle. All water ends up as precipitation back on Earth somewhere as clean, potable water. And it, the only real expense or difficulty is moving that water to where people are, where people need it. And because we have technology, we can do different things than we've ever done. Um, Throughout the course of human history, we've had to locate the people close to where the water supply was because that's how we got water. Water you can't compress, it's heavy, you, it's expensive to transport it. Now we have technology, and if you think about it, with all sorts of innovations that are happening, including you know, vehicles going autonomous, the cost of trucking per mile decreasing exponentially, it's expected to be one-tenth of what it costs today in the next five years. Um, now, if we knew in real time that we need water in the, in the West and we have water in other places, we could move the water to where the people are instead of moving the people to the water, which is a fundamental disconnect and a different way of dealing with our need for water every day. So this is a future that Bowie sees. Um, we think that in the brave new future that we're living in, when we all have a good handle on how much we need and we're efficient about using it and we can budget it for the things we love, we can have as much water as we want and we need with lots of new technologies that are not like business as usual. For example, you could even have condenser technologies that are pulling moisture right out of the air and delivering clean water to your home. Um, so that's why we're doing what we're doing. The first step is understanding what we need, getting efficient about how we use it. And um, to kind of wrap up, I just want to give you a little teaser. I know a lot of you have been here before, you've heard from us before. Um, we are shipping. We are um, we are launching officially. <laughs> we are launching in 11 days. You will see some announcements from us. Um, this is a picture. This is the new production buoy. You can see it in the back. Um, the big difference between um, it and its beta cousin, who's been out there for a little over a year, is that it has a rechargeable battery um, that you can swap out. It charges in under two hours. Lasts up to eight months. It's kind of awesome. And also we are hiring. We are looking for a full stack developer, a product manager, a support manager. So if you're interested in any of those roles, take a look at our website or come see us in the back. Thank you very much.